What's up, this your boy Jono with this week's rant. With no further delay, let's jump right into it. Has anybody been watching the show Star? And if so, why? Arab guys be having some fucking cool ass beards. This part of the rant is gonna go real fast because I haven't been here in a minute and there's a lot of stuff that I missed talking about um, as the new year started, man. Um, so I'm just gonna go into this as quick as I possibly can, okay? So bear with me. Cordell Stewart has a sex tape. Kylie Jenner possibly had a sex tape. Ronda Rousey got an ass beat. Drake and J-Lo could or could not be together. Mariah Carey fucked up on New Year's Eve thing. Tiny and T.I. are getting divorced or maybe not. Beyonce is pregnant with twins. Niggas showed their ass at Ricky Harris's funeral. Is anybody still talking about J. Cole's album? And Halle Berry got a divorce. So now that crazy bitch is single for me to holla at. That is my speed rant. As the time draws near for the fight between Soldier Boy and Chris Brown, yeah, I really don't give a fuck. So Nicki Minaj's house was robbed in California. And am I the only one, even though he said he had nothing to do with it, still believes that Meek Mills had something to do with it? Nigga, when is Lloyd's voice gonna catch up to his body? That nigga like 60. And he still sound like he 13. You ever be singing a song in a car with some other people in a car and them motherfucker change the station? Ain't that fucking make you just mad? A song that you be in the back just grooving to and they all of a sudden just want to change the station. <sighs> motherfucker, when I'm singing a song, don't change the station. What the fuck is going on with the Knicks and Charles Oakley? First of all, how is the toughest nigga <laughs> in the garden not on the floor? That's one. And two, I got I got a love-hate relationship with Charles Oakley only because I love Charles Barkley. Um, but I love Oakley too, because Oakley's a thug motherfucker. And he was a New York Nick, so I love the New York Knicks, and I also am a Philadelphia 76er fan. But I don't know what the fuck happened, but yo, Shout out to that boy Charles Oakley for just being a G, man. For being a G. And fuck Dolan, the, the owner of the Knicks, man. Because, first of all, he, the, the Knicks, I can't, I can't even get into this because I'm such a New York Knicks fan. Um, but, yo, big up to my man Oakley for holding it down. And, 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 and being that nigga, that nigga Charles is like that Uncle Charles you don't want to fucking go out in public with because that nigga will start some shit. But you also know that he will have your back and fuck somebody up. So big up to my man Charles Oakley. And whatever the fucking issue was, I didn't think him as being a former Nick, um, great, um, he should have been escorted out like that. Whatever the fucking issue was, it could have been diffused without all of that drama. So, fuck the Nick organization, because the niggas is fucking up the Knicks anyway. And big up to Charles Oakley, because you get the G award of the week, my dude. Nigga, now that it's came and went, can we talk about that new edition movie that I've been waiting all this? For how long? Like 37 years? I was so impressed with the movie. Shout out to all the actors from that movie, man. They did a good job. My man who played Ralph, um, I thought he was awesome, the older Ralph. Shout out to the kids too, um, and, and, and the older versions of them. I still believe that I should have been in the movie um, playing Brooke Payne, but that's a whole nother story. Um, Wood, when I see you on the street, we gonna have it out. That's it. Um, but yeah, big up to everybody who had a hand in that movie, man. Um, I was fortunate enough to be down on Hollywood uh, Boulevard when my boys got their star on the Walk of Fame. Congratulations to them. Well-deserved, man. Mike, Ronnie, Rick, Ralph, Bobby, Johnny. Love y'all cats, man. Um, and, and yeah, man, the movie I thought was very, very well done. I'm, I'm glad it didn't turn out like an Aaliyah movie. Um, so big up to uh, Jesse Collins and BET and all of those guys who put it together and did the right thing by New Edition, man, because they deserve that, man. I just had to take a minute because I'm still mad I wasn't in the movie. Uh, but, you know, it was still great, man. Uh, yeah, so... 
tell me your thoughts, man, if you've seen it by now. Um, what did you think of it, man? And, sp and speaking of New Edition, and he, <sighs> congratulations to the New England Patriots, man, for whipping Atlanta Falcons in one of the most dramatic and biggest comebacks and upsets in the football history. Um, I was actually rooting for New England. Uh, why? Because... I love New Edition, and even though I'm a New York Giants fan by the heart, I didn't want all the fucking strip clubs in Atlanta to be off the chain. I, I knew the niggas would have win, but wow. So, big up to Tom Brady. Love him or hate him, the motherfucker is good. You cannot, you cannot dispute that, man. So, shout out to the New England Patriots, man, and all the New England Patriot fans. Um, Y'all deserve that, man. That's a hell of a fucking comeback. And as for Atlanta... <laughs> Maybe next year, baby. Next year. I can always laugh because the Giants are the only team that beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl twice. And if it wasn't for us, the motherfuckers would have seven rings. And why, baby? Yo, before I go, let me shout out my four horsemen. Music lover, the real Superman, my man David, DR, and uh, Jay Mucker, man. Appreciate y'all always holding me down and, and showing me love. Um, please continue to share and um, like my videos, man. I also want to add on some things. Last uh, video I did, uh, I got a lot of heat. Once again, I know there's a lot of people who, when you when you talk about Tupac, people always have something. You know, they hold Tupac dear to their heart. And I'm always gonna stick to my guns. I'd always did. I never thought Tupac was a good rapper. I thought he was a better actor than he was a rapper. And I said that, you know. Um, um, that I didn't feel he should be in the Hall of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before LL Cool J. And some people got mad at me. But what what really pissed people off last time was when I said that I would crush all 10 of those people that was on the motherfucking top 10 uh, list. That shit is so hilarious. So big up to all those people who thought I couldn't do it. Um, um, not that I'm going to if unless it happens, then yeah. Uh, We'll see what happens. Um, but let me mention a couple of names, man. Eric Hill, big up to you, man. Um, uh, 3D, 3 Decane Sane. 3 Decane Sane. He, he he didn't actually come at me, but he, he, you know, he had his opinions, and I respect that. Uh, who else? And Keith Wilkes. Big up to the three of y'all, man. I enjoy people actually responding, you know, like that, because, you know, it, it helps for good dialogue. Man, I have no animosity against anybody, man. This is what this is about, man, to open up a dialogue. And if y'all feel that those rappers are better than me, that's your opinion. I still fucking crush all of them motherfuckers anytime, anywhere, and any day. Because I'm John No. But keep all the comments coming, fellas, man. Much love to y'all. And with that being said, this has been this week's rant with your boy John No. Make sure you don't do something, say something. Let me see something that ends your ass up on this list next week. Until then... As I always say, don't be smart, be genius, and always, always, always stay gecko, man. I see y'all when I see ya. Yo, so Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill is finally Splitsville. Yeah, buddy. Now I can get. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Now hey, can I do this, man? Yeah, buddy. Now I can go and try to holler at Nicki. <laughs> what you laughing at? Yo, so Nicki Minaj and Meek Mills of Splitville. And that means John O finally gets his chance to hit that Nick. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, guys? If you enjoyed that video, then I need you to subscribe. And you can always stay updated on all my new videos by following me on Facebook.com forward slash John Ollie. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Kate told me to do this. Hey, guys. I'm Kate, and I'm the one that told him to do this. Aren't you glad?